Albert's here now, and I can just hear those dogs and cats like soon yeah. saying, wait, we're not in Florida anymore. <laughs> Makes me want to adopt one of those kitties. I, oh. I'm a cat guy. I like oh. dogs, but I also like cats, too. Okay. Yeah. Well, there's plenty for you to That's yeah. right. choose from. I may have to go out there. <laughs> yeah, there's plenty to choose from. Uh, we have one more warm day. Okay. One more spring-like day. Yeah. And then a little That's taste it. of winter. Just a little taste. <laughs> Only in the low 50s as we had in a Friday. Friday night, the coldest night in about five months. Tomorrow, though, we're talking low to mid-70s, warm for your Wednesday. Here comes the front on Thursday. A few showers, maybe even a rumble of thunder possible with this front coming in around the midday hour, spilling in a cooler air mass. And then we really feel the impacts of this front on Friday, only in the low 50s for highs, 30s at night. So let me show you what we're tracking tonight. That area of low pressure is sitting out here uh, between Nebraska and South Dakota. You can see all the clouds and moisture out ahead of it. It's a slow mover, so it's for, first just increasing clouds for us. And then we'll get in on some shower activity as we head into Thursday. Here's a look at the hour by hour forecast. Some high clouds, 7 a.m. tomorrow. Temperatures ranging from 52 in Midway to 40 Aurora, 42 in Joliet. So away from the city, it'll be a bit cooler, but not as chilly as the last couple of nights and then mostly cloudy skies for tomorrow afternoon. Despite the clouds, though, southerly winds will boost highs into the low to mid 70s, 75 Rensselaer, 75 Joliet, 76 at Midway, 73 in Waukegan for tomorrow. Tomorrow evening, about this time, we could have a few isolated showers on the radar. It's a small chance for some showers tomorrow night. Better chance of showers we head into Thursday morning ahead of the front. Here comes the front moving in around midday Thursday with some showers and maybe an isolated thunderstorm behind behind it, but more importantly, strong northwesterly winds gusting around 30 miles per hour, pulling in this cool air mass. So we'll look at upper 60s around lunchtime on Thursday, but low 60s by 5 o'clock. And by Friday morning, we have temperatures in the 30s and 40s with some lake effect showers possible. So I've upped the rain chance for Chicago and points south and southeastward into northwest Indiana for your Friday. Tomorrow, just a lot of clouds, 74 degrees. Chance of rain small on Wednesday night. A little bit better chance for showers at 30% on Thursday with 69 early afternoon, but low 60s as we head into Thursday late afternoon, early evening. For Friday, we'll start off with 44 in the morning, breezy 53 degrees in the afternoon. And again, I bumped up that rain chance to 30% for your Friday. Here's a look at the allergy forecast. It's just weed pollen this time of the year, and it's on the low count. As these temperatures continue to cool, we get rid of not just the pollen, but the leaves. The leaves are changing and falling as we speak. There's a check of the extended forecast with those temperatures cooling on Thursday, chilly Friday. Now, Friday night, we're down to 38. That's here Ooh. in Chicago, <laughs> but uh, 30 to 32 degrees western and northwestern suburbs. So McHenry, uh, Kane County, Kendall County, I'm talking about you, even DeKalb County. Mm. First light freeze of the season as you wake up early Saturday morning. Time to get the warm jammies out. That's right, yeah. <laughs> Long jammies. Maybe not quite there. Yet. All right. We're getting close. <laughs>